Hi, my name is Johannes Heinso. I represent the young European-based quantum computing hardware company, IQM. Today, I present Qubit Readout Circuit, which enables fast, high-fidelity readout. And the circuit is reproducible and scalable. Superconducting qubits are read out by probing response of a readout resonator at a specific frequency. The readout resonator is strongly and off resonantly coupled to the two level system. This dispersive readout uh, technique is generalized to multiple qubits by coupling multiple readout resonators to a single probe line and by probing it with a frequency comb and analyzing the response of individual frequency components, the state of the quantum registry can be extracted. Frequency multiplex readout has been demonstrated more than 10 years ago. In order to speed up the readout without uh, reducing qubit lifetime, the feed line has been uh, replaced with uh, a Purcell filter. The readout speed can be further increased by replacing the single mode Purcell filter with a bandpass filter, which has a more bandwidth and a sharper cutoff. Or by coupling individual Purcell filters to each readout resonator, which in addition to uh, enabling fast readout, also reduces readout crosstalk. However, these readout circuits are sensitive to the impedance of the output port, which uh, makes the frequency of the Purcell filter shift and uh, makes uh, line width of the readout resonator uh, hard to reproduce. In addition, this uh, structure is hard to design because the neighboring readout structures in the frequency space interfere with each other and the readout resonators are also become also so large that uh, they take a lot of space on the QPU which starts to uh, conflict with um, uh, strong coupling requirements for high fidelity two qubit gates. In this talk I address all of these three challenges. First, we introduce a new readout, a new resonator type we refer to as probe line resonator. The probe line resonator is uh, pro the probe line resonator provides a well-engineered impedance environment for all the individual Purcell filters. Uh, so instead of the output port receiving impedance of the probe line resonator. Uh, which is uh, easier to control and uh, this provides reproducibility of the readout resonator line width. In addition, the probe line resonator increases the voltage amplitude in the probe line, uh, which uh, uh, for the same capacitance increases the coupling between the Purcell filters and uh, probe line, which allows faster readout. Here we uh, present our uh, five qubit QPU design, which uh, implements uh, the described readout circuit. The black indicates uh, region where the superconducting metal is etched away. Uh, blue indicates uh, the probe line resonator, which is coupled to five readout structures. It each consists of two lambda quarter resonators. The design of our qubits resembles the uh, resembles the qubit design recently introduced in ETH Zurich. We refer to this uh, shape of the island of the transmission qubit as a turtle one. From the 
a histogram of uh, qubit uh, lifetime collected from uh, 10 5 qubit devices, we see that the shape of the uh, qubit is, uh, is compatible with reasonably high uh, qubit lifetime in the range of 20 to 60 microseconds typically. Um, the second uh, problem we address is the complexity of the uh, design process. Uh, because the readout resonators, radar structures uh, with neighboring frequency space interfere with each other from a transmission spectrum, it is hard to identify the frequencies and line widths of the individual readout uh, structures. Here we have uh, marked the frequencies of the uh, real resonators and post-cell filters with uh, gray vertical lines. And you can see that for some of the radar structures, the free resonance frequency does not correspond to neither the dip or, uh, dip or peak of the uh, transmission amplitude. However, the both uh, line width and, uh, and uh, and the resonance frequency is easy to recognize in Laplace domain, where uh, the real part of the coordinate corresponds to the loss of the mode and the imaginary part corresponds to the frequency of the mode. And uh, resonances correspond to divergence of uh, impedance, uh, which is indicated with yellow on this figure. The red crosses uh, mark the target uh, frequencies and uh, lifetimes of the uh, post-cell filters and readout resonators. In order to numerically optimize uh, the length of 10 readout resonators and 10 resonators and 10 coupling capacitors all simultaneously, we uh, minimize the maximum uh, admittance at any of these uh, red uh, target coordinates. And this way we can uh, reliably uh, numerically optimize the parameters of the, the circuit and obtain the design which would uh, uh, perform as we have targeted. Here we have experimental uh, evidence of uh, high fidelity readout. Uh, in the top right figure, we give transmission amplitude, transmission spectrum of uh, one readout uh, structure, and in the bottom right, uh, signal transmission signal amplitude distribution for two states of a qubit. And for these experiments, we extract the resonator line width of 20 megahertz, dispersion shift of 10 megahertz, which allows us to achieve more than 99% readout fidelity in 100 nanoseconds. These results have been obtained using a traveling wave parametric amplifier provided by Finnish National Research Center, VTT. It is not sufficient to design, uh, to optimize the design of the quantum processing unit for only high fidelity readout. Uh, in a scalable uh, qubit lattice, the readout structure has to fit the unit cell of the qubit lattice. Here I have superimposed a subset of the design we presented earlier. Uh, I have superimposed this subset multiple times uh, to illustrate that the unit, unit cell is uh, compatible with uh, the readout circuit. And on the side of the unit cell, we have the capacitive tunable uh, coupler. For these uh, tunable uh, couplers, we have uh, demonstrated uh, in interleaved randomized benchmarking experiments, uh, two qubit gauge fidelity, 
higher by 99%. So our layout structures are compatible with a scalable uh, architecture. We have uh, presented uh, high fidelity qubit readout in 100 nanoseconds with readout fidelity higher than 99 percent where the readout structure has been designed in Laplace domain and we have demonstrated that uh, design is compatible with high fidelity two gigabytes. Thank you for your attention.